Hey everybody, this is Rexus, and welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2. On this episode, we're going to continue exploring the sewers. So what you want to do is you want to just the game. stand underneath whichever spot this creature is about to spawn from, and just keep whacking it with the hammer until she's defeated. I got off quite easy there, but sometimes what can happen is it'll um, go into back into its um, little hole, and if um, it, it, sometimes it'll come straight back out. But if you hear it moving around, you should go and just listen stand beside each one and just sort of listen and the louder it is the more likely it is it's going to appear from um, that hole so we don't need anything to spib so let's just move back and let's go up this way whoa mucked up a jump there guys sorry about that but now we get to kill these aliens there's, yeah there's a third one there's three down here so God, I hate these guys. But, um, when we jump up here, we get some energy. Some energy? Yeah, energy balls, I guess. Vitality balls would be more appropriate, but, oh well, who cares. So now let's just play them up here. Oh my god, it's one of the girls we have to save. So as you can see, it took him a little longer for this guy to spawn, so... That basically means he was going up... Hey, we rescued her! So then what we want to do is just run run across here, jump across to here, and then jump. Whoa, missed the, missed the jump there, guys. Sorry about that. This game is a lot more platforming sections than the original, I think. It's almost like the developers sort of said when we were all saying, Hey, we don't like the platforming sections in your game. The developer said, well, fuck you, we're putting more in, so. Well, that was kind of weird. It's rather glitched out. Well, this is the only hole this one can appear from. Just keep hitting and it'll eventually die. Three rescued, two remaining. So let's just go down her way. It's actually a lot easier. Jump down to here. Head to here. And then exit through here. Now what we're doing is we're actually um, going to go back to um, the uh, crossroads, say. But actually, yeah, we're, straight, we're right back here. Woo! I was going to have to skip a bit of the video, but yeah, we're back to this um, path now. Except this time, all, what we want to do is now that we've three women rescued, we want to go and rescue the other two by going this way. So let's just sprint down here. And here we have another fountain of rejuvenation. Excellent. Always use more health. Just watch out for this guy. This guy is very tough. Oh, don't possess him. Yes. Well done, Dan. Then what you want to do is you want to just basically um, hit these um, bull type things into this wall. And they'll smash it open for us. And here we have another girl to rescue. Oh no, we missed it. Just make sure you hit them towards the pipe, say, because um, that's basically what our weak point is. One girl is all that remains. Oh my gosh. This room is quite tough, everyone. But um, once you get rid of the guy who possesses the um, bull, you're pretty much safe, so it's okay. Oh, come on. Oh, don't possess the bull. Oh, crap. Die. Oh, come on, he got him again. But well, he smashed up the wall first. There we go. We lost a lot of life there, but oh, well, it's nothing we care too much about. There we go. Oh, I'm losing a lot of life in this stage. Don't know why. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. We freed all the girls. 
Okay, now this part is very important. Um, I think so far we've collected eight chalices. Um, see when we get a chalice that um, is automatically given it to us. So this is very important. If you want the good ending, you have to not collect the chalice here. I'll repeat that. If you want the good ending, don't collect the chalice. If you want the bad ending, collect, well, not if you want, well, you don't, you don't want the bad ending, but if you want a, the most powerful weapon in the game, collect the chalice here. <laughs> this is the last chance in the game you have is if you collect all of the chalice up to this point. So um, basically, I'm probably going, most likely going to get the bad ending this time, but it doesn't matter too much. I I'll probably show you guys a good ending also, so hooray! So then we have the chalice, we've rescued all the girls, we want to head back. It's kind of annoying the way they did that in this game, I think, that um, if you collected all the um, chalices, you get the bad ending. What the hell? Like? What the hell? Then we just want to um, recover our health as much as possible on this. And go back here. And speak with the king. Who's probably overjoyed to have his women back. Oh, great one! You have saved us by the powers of the Time Stone. I declare we are the whole tribe once more. Yay! Will you stay and defend us from future attack? No, I have to return to Slurpit. How do I get back? Very well. I will return you to the water's edge. We're transport will be waiting. Here, take your reward. I thought our efforts, we guess. A hundred gold. So you want to just do is you want to just ring this bell. And that'll summon over this guy. Be careful not to jump into water here. That's all I could say. And basically that will end the level. And we're once again back into Professor's laboratory. There was something strange about that poster the Spiff gave us. What is it though? Find out next time on Let's Play Medieval 2. This is Rexus, signing out. Thanks for watching.